Hi everyone, it's Andrea from Green Beauty Collage. I'm collaborating with Eco Beauty Crew UK to bring you the best of green beauty. So today I've decided to do a, a makeup tutorial. I'm doing an autumnal makeup look. And for my foundation I've chosen a full coverage foundation. That looks really natural on the skin. At the moment I'm loving this one from Zao Makeup. It's in the shade 713. So let's get started. I'm going to be using a brush, a very dense brush. I'm going to shake the bottle a little bit. And I'm going to put one pump on the back of my hand. And starting from the center of my face, working towards the the edges. All right, so foundation is done. As you can see, it covered almost everything. I'm just going to be using a little bit of concealer now, just under my eye area, and I have just a few breakouts on the skin. And this one is also from Zao. Zao makeup. It's in the shade 492. I'm just going to pop a little bit on the back of my hand and use a brush again. Just going to use a concealer brush like this. Just gently dab it in the inner corner of my eyes. Where I get really dark. A little bit around my nose. Just to cover up a few spots here and there. My skin is pretty decent at the moment, so I don't I don't need too much concealing. Oh my hair. That's pretty much it. Now for powder, I've chosen another Zao product and this one is called Mineral Silk in the shade 501. I'm going to take a smaller brush like this one and I'm going to use it for my under eye area. So if you use a smaller brush you get a bit more precise application. A little bit on my eyelids because my eyelids get a bit oily. On my nose and around my nose and I get a bit shiny around my jawline and my around my lips. Now you can definitely use a bigger brush but I prefer using a smaller one. It gives me a little bit more control of the areas I powder. That's it, perfect. 
Now let's move on. What should we do first? I think we should do the eyes first. I've chosen a really gorgeous color. It's this one from PHB Ethical Beauty. This is just gorgeous. And what I love about PHB eyeshadows is that they come in um in powder form, but they go on like a cream eyeshadow. They're super creamy and easy to blend. And they have great lasting power and also great ingredients. So, I'm just looking for a brush to apply it on my eyelids. I'm going to apply it all over my eyelids. Gently take the excess off. I'm going to keep it simple with my eyes because I want to do a bold lip. I do tend to wear more darker shades on my lips in the autumn. I don't know why, but I love it. Makes me feel a bit more sophisticated. I'm also going to bring it upwards on my crease and I'm going to use a different brush to blend everything at the end. This is such a lovely color. And it just blends beautifully. And also no fallouts, which is fantastic. Everything you could wish for <laughs> an eyeshadow. Oh, lovely. I also love the packaging because it's super compact, small. It's made out of cardboard, so easy to recycle. It has a magnet, pretty strong, so you can just carry it in your bag. And also it comes in a, with a handy mirror, which is perfect. Now I'm going to take another brush and blend everything because I really love smooth eyeshadow on my eyelids. I don't like to see any sharp lines. Just gorgeous. There we go. And because I don't want my um, eyes to be too dark, I'm going to be using a brown eye pencil. This one is from Pacifica. Oh, my hands are dirty. <laughs> and it's in the shade Fringe, which is, which is just a brown color. I'm going to use it along my upper lash line. I don't need to be too precise with it because I'm going to smudge it. There we go. And let's choose a brush to smudge everything. 
I really love this one because it's super small and dense. Oh, I need to clean my hand. <laughs> I have eyeshadow everywhere on my hand. I'm gently bringing it upwards. trying to create a little bit of a flick, but not too much. Just to elongate my eyes a tiny bit. Then I'm going to take my blending brush again and just gently soften those lines. There we go. All done. Let's do some mascara. But first I'm going to curl my eyelashes. My lashes are really short and straight, so I cannot be without an eyelash curler. There we go. Now for my lashes. I'm going to use my absolute favorite Imica Long Lash Mascara. This does exactly what it says on the packaging, Long Lash Mascara. My lashes instantly become long and separated and defined. but still looking really natural. There we go, beautiful. Now, let's do the lips. Tom Tom, really interesting. Let's start with a lip liner. Because I'm gonna be doing a really dark lip, I need a lip liner to define my lips. Now I've chosen this one from Inica. It's in the color Dusty Rose. I'm just gonna line my lips. And just drag it all over the lips after you line it, just to make everything look more natural instead of just a straight line. And also it helps with the lasting power of the lipstick. These are really creamy and pigmented. Now onto the lipstick. I've chosen Antipodes lipstick. 
It's in the color Oriental Bay Plum. I am super in love with Antipode's lipsticks. They're the most long-lasting, pigmented, creamy, gorgeous lipsticks and they also have incredible ingredients. It even says on the packaging, you could I am so healthy, you could almost eat me. Fabulous, isn't it? Now I'm going to use a lip brush, just to smooth the edges. All done. Lovely intense color. But I do want to add a little bit more because I'm super, super crazy about the Inica Lip Glaze and the color Berry. It's just too gorgeous not to use it and it goes perfectly with this kind of look. They are super, super creamy and so comfortable on the lips. I'm just going to take a brush now, just to blend everything together. Ooh. And that's it. There we are. Now the only thing left to do is to apply a little bit of blush. Because I've done a really strong lip, I need something to balance my face but I don't want too much. So I decided to use the Inica Baked Mineral Illuminizer. 
and it looks like this. And let's take on a blush or brush, tap the excess off, and just gently apply it on my cheeks. As you can see, it doesn't add too much color, just a little bit of definition. And a bit of luminosity to the cheeks, just to balance the look. And just bring it upwards. You can act like a um, highlighter as well. It's not crazy shimmer, so you're not going to go overboard with it. Let's use a tiny bit on the forehead. And that's it you guys, that's the finished look. It's quite easy to do and the colors are just beautiful. And of course everything is natural and non-toxic. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Thank you, bye!